I really love coming to the farm because it really reminds us what we're truly about. And our mission is to make better confectionery. And better for us means natural, it means better for you. It also means the best tasting and made in the most simple, sustainable way possible. And these were the things that we were told when we set out was, you know, it doesn't happen in confectionery. You don't make products that way. We wanted to make them that way. The Menta Peperita that we grow is called Black Mitcham. Now this is an, an original uh, English peppermint. It got its name in Mitcham in Surrey. Um, it's called Black Mitcham because when it is growing, the leaf is very dark. It's almost like a dark purple in color. And it is unique. It has got certain characteristics that you won't find in other types of peppermint. The mint will really come to maturity in sort of very late July and August, and that's when we harvest it. We mow it down. We'll leave it in the row to wilt, as we say, which is just basically lose some moisture. We leave it there for about 24 hours, and we'll pick it up with our forage harvester that literally picks it up, chops it, and blows it into the cooker tub. Once it's into the cooker tub, it's brought into the distillery. We do it by wet steam distillation. So we have a steam boiler, which is basically a giant kettle producing a head of steam. We'll come in, we'll couple it up to the distillery. So we'll put an outlet on the top where the condensate goes out. We'll put steam in at the bottom. So we'll pump steam in. That breaks down the oil capsules in the leaf. And after about an hour, it starts percolating at the top. We, we tend to leave it to settle. We like it to mature. We treat it like fine wane. We call it a single estate oil. So we put it into drums, and that just mellows. The smell changes, the taste changes. The big guys have their way of doing things, but when Mike and I founded Pebsmith, we always wanted to do things differently. And with our mince and gum, we always wanted to create something that, that does you good and tastes good. In terms of taste, that's why we love being down on the farm, because you get to come down here you get to learn about the variety, you get to meet the farmer, you get to see the very simple process. And it's not just about those stories, it's about ending up with the, the best ingredient in your product and ultimately then the best tasting products around. What you find is when companies add artificial ingredients or use uh, lower quality mint varieties, the products just don't taste as good. So by coming here and finding these ingredients, um, we end up with something special and this year we won a Great Taste Award, the first ever mint company to do that. And I think that really shows what, what can be achieved by putting the effort in and, and seeking out the best things. Mm -hmm.